Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is another Telly Tuesday without the Telly. But, wah, 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 wah. but you guys, you bought all of our fenders. <laughs> we appreciate it, but uh, yeah, we gotta get some more uh, vintage Tellys in here. Um, but we still have something cool, and uh, Norm also, like I said, was at the warehouse. He mostly picked up arch tops. I think there's a Jaguar in there, like a 63 Jaguar that's beautiful, it's clean, all the hang tags and everything. But that video will be going up tomorrow. Um, I know we said it would be earlier, but it's been so busy, you can imagine getting back in the new year. Um, but you will see some of the guitars we picked up from the warehouse, and uh, there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, but other than that, this guitar came in, I think about maybe yesterday or Saturday, um, and it's just got a cool little vibe to it. Come on, let's check it out. So this is a 1965 Fender Mustang mm. in Dakota Red. Okay. It's cool. It's really cool. Um, so you got the Rosewood fretboard on this one. Um, it's the Dakota Red is one of my favorites. Um, I just think it it just stuns. Um, and then you got the Pearl Dot inlays. Um, two single coil pickups with the black covers. Uh, it's a 24 inch scale. Started off as a student model, um, and it is a great guitar to still study, even if you are um, very experienced on the guitar. Um, the small fretboard and, and uh, spacing gives you some room to play some really expansive chords. And then you have the original Klusen tuners. But if you take a look at that neck, this is one of the nicest necks I've played on a Mustang. Um, absolutely beautiful. Feels like it was just hand carved. Um, it's a one and five eighths nut width. And then you have your dynamic vibrato tailpiece with the six saddle adjustable bridge. Um, the trem arm, fortunately, is not in here, um, but it shouldn't be too hard to find one. One of the best tremolos in the system, or in the business. <laughs> and uh, you have your three ply pick guard. It's kind of got a little pearl to it. Uh, if you could ch check that out. Um, but the original hard shell case, and uh, just a really cool guitar. A couple marks on there, but I love them. It's a vibey. Yeah, it's very vibey. If you want a vintage guitar for a more affordable price than a lot of, well, obviously, the Strats and the Jazz Masters you see, um, this is a great way to get started in vintage Fender. Um, and like I said, started off as a student model, and it's just... Just kind of gives you a breath of fresh air um, after playing just regular scale guitars all the time. And like I said, you can play mega stages with this. Um, so it's not just a student guitar. You know, Kurt Cobain played one. He obviously made the Jag Stang out of it, which is like a Jaguar and a Mustang together. Um, but yeah, we're going to go out front, see what we can do. This is a keeper. Let's do it. All right, we're out front with the 1965 Fender Mustang. In red, uh, it's a beautiful guitar, and uh, my teacher Tomo Fujita from Berkeley played a lot of them, and they have a good kind of funk appeal to them. And uh, obviously, you started off as a student level guitar, and they're great to learn on. Um, so we're going to do a little funky stuff today. Um, we're also going through the 1966 Fender Pro Reverb. Um, I'll accuse at noon. A little bit of verb. Let's start off with the neck.
So on this big cord, you can really kind of get around the neck really easy, um, which is nice about it. Uh, we're going to go into middle position, um, and you know Kurt Cobain played them, so we'll do a little Nirvana. Shoot it up. So this pickup, you kind of get this quacky sound, which is really cool. Um, we'll do a little sister sledge. Um, I believe Nile Rogers played on this track, um, but check it out. Just a cool guitar to work with and uh, very dynamic. Uh, there you have it, your 1965 Fender Mustang. Um, beautiful guitar here at Norman's Red Guitars. You can check them all out online um, and also on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I'm your host, Michael Lemo. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a Wacky Wednesday. Bye.